Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Bowman. I practice in Portage, Michigan, and I live in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Looking back <clears throat> at my residency, I think hold this curiosity that you started with throughout the entire process. Uh, as I said earlier, that the, the education is much like the Socratic method. It, at least it was where I went to uh, residency. So what happens is you'd have this question about something, you know, like facial growth. And the answer from the instructors would be, go look it up. And so spend the time. I know libraries are disappearing and now you have all these methods you can use online, but I would go find a book, find a, uh, articles, whatever I could find going back in the history of orthodontics. And it was generally just in the journals that, that were on our library to find answers for myself. We didn't have a textbook. It was all in articles and notes, et cetera, from, from our instructors and I think that's an incredibly more beneficial way to, to learn orthodontics than just look at some cookbook and expect to follow the, 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 the last person. Because without being able to think on your feet um, and come up with new ideas or, or new applications, it, it, it could probably become pretty boring to be a, an orthodontist after a period of time because of the repetition. I've never never had that happen because I'm always looking at it in a different way. Is there something else that could be done? And uh, so be skeptical. I think that was the, one of the number one things we learned is be skeptical about everything and ask questions and, you know, question your, your mentors and uh, take chances and learn in the residency rather than find out when you get out, there are things you don't understand or don't even know that where the resource would be to find out. So um, I, I loved being a resident. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, it was very difficult. But if I could go back to the same instructors in the same place, I would do it again tomorrow.